Oh, hello everyone. I've got a little UV tip for you. I've got this model here I've been working on. I finally done all of the rest of the UVs for these. I've got this set up. But I was noticing a little something about my UV when I was trying to get this even closer to being distortion less. Uh, I can't be perfect with it, but here's some little things that might help you out. If you look at this, there's something you can do. Uh, we're at polygons. Here's the example. I'll go into here. I'm trying to remember green is good. What I can do, right? Go to your selections, go to your local. Now, if you're doing them one at a time, again, it can be time consuming, but good UVs take time. Right? You've got that one selected. It's at local, so it's all going to work relative to that one polygon. And you can do some tweaking that way. But let's say <clears throat> I want to get all of those. These are pretty much the same color, so they're about the same amount of distortion. Let's find a couple more so we can really see what I'm talking about. Maybe a couple up there. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's try this one too. Right? in these long here. Again, you can really tweak UVs to your heart's content depending on how much time you got. Let's go here. But being at local, you'll see it start to happen. Not so easy to see here, so I go O key. Turn off my show selections. Everything selected that uh, you can see here, I got these spots selected, but I'm only tweaking them in the UV view. Watch carefully. See? You can kind of help yourself out. You know, if you're really anal about it, you can probably go in and do every single one if you need to. But using that local action center on multiple polygons really can help make a UV session go a little smoother and get some quality results I think. Let's see that one. Mm, nothing too crazy. All right? I've got some of those selected. Do I have that one? No, I'll get that one. Do the same thing. Do I have that one? Yeah. Same thing, I'm down here at the local. the R key and again you can tweak this however you want just trying to get it close to green green is good right here's one I don't like if you're doing it quickly things work out pretty fast uh, let me try these right here I think you get the idea once you see it a couple of times. Again, it's just me selecting the polygons I want to uh, <clears throat> warp a little bit, but I don't want to select all of them. Just go to the local action center. You know, you can tweak it. Uh, let's see, where was it? Somewhere right about. Hmm. Let's go there. Again, UVing is a tedious process. I'd rather not do it, but if I'm going to do it, I kind of like them to be nice. Again, that's probably serviceable. This one's standing out a little bit. See if there's another one about the same value. This one, uh, let's see. Let's try that one. They're a little, they're not too close, but. All right. I mean, really, it's not a bad thing, that local action center, to help tweak some rough spots about a UV. Usually Moto, and I think most packages in general do a good job nowadays, but when you want to go in and do a little bit more, multiple polygons with the local action center really do a good job. All right, that's all. Bye.